Five people have died as a result of that riot, among them a policeman. Dozens of officers were also injured. President Trump has condemned what happened and now promises an orderly transition, adding though that this isn't the end for him or his supporters. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defiled the seat of American democracy. To those who engaged in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. My focus now turns to ensuring a smooth, orderly, and seamless transition of power. And to all of my wonderful supporters, I know you are disappointed, but I also want you to know that our incredible journey is only just beginning. Now, it's important to note uh, that we heard earlier from Joe Biden, uh, who said that the protesters were domestic terrorists. What we witnessed yesterday was not dissent, it was not disorder, it was not protest, it was chaos. They weren't protesters. Don't dare call them protesters. They were a riotous mob, insurrectionists, domestic terrorists. Democrats are now stepping in and calling for Donald Trump's impeachment following yesterday's violence on Capitol Hill. What happened at the U.S. Capitol yesterday was an insurrection against the United States incited by President Trump. This president must not hold office one day longer. I joined the Senate Democratic leader in calling on the vice president to remove this president by immediately invoking the 25th Amendment. In the wake of this deadly attack on the Capitol, in the face of this insurrection, we must act. There must be consequences. Those consequences must be commensurate with the offense, and they must begin with the President of the United States. The rhetoric of Joe Biden and the Democrats about the protesters being terrorists is being echoed by celebrities. And it's shameful, you know, to, to keep calling them protesters. Not protesters, they're terrorists. People walking around with the flag upside down, thinking they're patriotic. Today was not patriotism. Today was terrorism. And we've got Trump supporters who are making light of the situation to some degree and taking a dig at the Democrats, uh, invoking what happened on Capitol Hill. I am sure glad that at least for one day, I didn't hear my Democrat colleagues calling to defund the police. So it's important to note four people did die in the scuffles on Capitol Hill yesterday. But that seems to be lost amid more divisive rhetoric, jokes, heated words, and calls to remove Donald Trump and further escalate tensions in the country. Well, in the wake of that unrest at the Capitol, some TV hosts vented their anger at the rioters. ABC's political director said in a now deleted tweet that while getting rid of Trump wasn't difficult, cleansing his followers would be a challenge. And others have accused Trump of inciting his supporters' violence. The president of the United States is clearly a danger and threat to the republic. We call them terrorists. Terrorists. Domestic terrorists. Domestic terrorists. Domestic terrorists. Domestic terrorists. Donald J. Trump called for the insurrection against the United States of America. You talked about al-Qaeda. What has he done in terms of incitement, right, that Osama bin Laden didn't do? We will all remember you, because when the coup you enabled and you supported is finally mounted and you are barricaded inside, cowering in fear because it finally affects you.